Right now, colder days are ahead, including a couple of alert days for some snow. We have everything you need to know in our first worn forecast. Plus, a recap of day one of testimony and the trial of the law enforcement officer charged in connection with the shooting of Quadron Wilson. That's all coming up on News 3 Now at 10. Well, here's a live look at the roads tonight. A spring-like day with temperatures in the 50s for most of the day, but the cool down is here, and with that will come some snow. For more, let's get a look at our first worn forecast with meteorologist Buddy Reeves. Buddy? Yep, thanks so much, Brady. Yeah, we do have an alert day in the forecast, and we're going to get straight to that right now, if my clicker would work. Give me just one second. My clicker is not working. There we go. So we do have an alert day, sorry folks, we have an alert day in the forecast for all of southern Wisconsin. This is for, to not, I'm sorry, Thursday night into Friday morning and we could see one to four inches for Madison and then four to six north of Madison. Taking a look at future track, we'll start out at 1030. We're going to do a wider view on this one and then we'll do a closer view on our main weather. We can see the snow overspreading southern Wisconsin going into your morning on your Friday. It will be a rather slippery commute. Then as we move on into your afternoon on Friday, that storm system will get out of here once we get to Friday evening. Then after that, we have another storm system on Sunday and Monday. This is for all of southern Wisconsin. Heavy precepts, snow to rain. This will be for Sunday and Monday. So a bottom line to all of this, accumulating snow by Friday morning. The Friday a.m. commute is going to be impacted. And then we will have more rain and snow on Sunday and Monday. I'll break down both of these systems coming up in weather. Thanks, buddy. Well, this was the site around the Capitol Square today. A snowplow rally aiming to raise awareness about a bill that's trying to reduce winter storms. Representatives for the Snow and Ice Management Association want Governor Evers to stand by the state's freshwater resources. Senate Bill 52 aims to train people to remove snow and ice properly and ultimately lower the amount of salt in our lakes. What we're looking at here really is are we going to you know continue down a really unsustainable path and salt our drinking water to the point that we won't be able to drink it. The bill is supposed to make its way to the governor's desk on April 4th, and he will have six days to decide whether he will sign it or not. Stay up to date on the weather with our first worn forecast weather app. It has hourly forecasts, road conditions, and the latest radar. You can download it for free in your phone's app store. Just ISC. Today wrapped up day one of the trial for DCI agent Mark Wagner. He's charged with recklessly endangering safety for firing a gun at a suspect in 2022. Wagner was working on an arrest operation involving multiple agencies when he fired on Quadron Wilson in February of that year. Today we heard from Wagner's attorney saying agent Wagner believed Wilson shot at him first, prompting him to fire his gun. Early on, in his opening statement, District Attorney Ismail Ozan said a mistake was clearly made. The evidence is going to show that something went really wrong here. Now, law enforcement has the privilege to use force, up to an even deadly force. But there must be articulable facts to justify any use of force. Multiple witnesses also took the stand today, but it was mostly to go over the facts of February 3rd, 2022. Wagner is scheduled to be on trial through the 29th. The victim of the crash involving a car and a bicyclist on Saturday on Madison's east side has been identified. 35-year-old Joseph J. Solomon was pronounced dead at the scene. The crash happened at about 6.20 Friday night near the East Town Mall on Leon Drive at Parkside Drive. Initial findings confirm Solomon died from injuries resulting from the crash. An investigation remains ongoing. A home is destroyed and residents in Reedsburg are without a home after a fire early this morning. Just before 2 a.m., Reedsburg fire was called to a house fire on E8095 Hazel Circle. When crews responded to the scene, they found flames through the roof of the home. The fire was eventually put out. The residents were taken to the hospital as a precaution for minor smoke inhalation. They're currently being assisted by the Red Cross. Shocking video shows the moments after a little girl fell off a two-story escalator last month. It happened at Southbridge Mall in Greendale. Erica Fink reports. 
I have a call line saying he's calling from Southridge Mall, and there was a girl that fell off the escalator. Multiple calls to 911 from Southridge Mall the night of February 27th, as horrified shoppers saw and heard a six-year-old girl fall from a second-floor escalator railing. And I looked over, and the little girl went down, and mom and dad were turning, and then you just heard him scream. And I ran because I thought I didn't know if it was, I didn't know if it was real. I didn't know what the hell it was. Video obtained by 12 News showing paramedics trying to keep the girl steady as they put her on the stretcher to take her to the hospital. There, a Greendale officer talks to the girl's father and stepmother. The parents say they got off the escalator to go to Champs. Mm -hmm. I thought that she was close near us, mm -hmm. but um, she was by the escalator, and mm -hmm. then by the time that we turned around mm -hmm. to call her over, um, mm -hmm. she was like, oh, kind of like, hey, Look what I can do type thing. A police report says the parents saw the girl gripping the top of the escalator railing. We were already on the second floor okay. and she grabs the top of the rail. Okay. And she goes and she goes like, like, like Superman. Despite the terrifying fall from the second floor, the girl survived speaking to police soon after. Anything hurt on you at all? Your head? What hurts? <laughs> your back and your arm? Okay. You don't remember falling and hurting it though? The child was released from the hospital a week after the incident. Next tonight at 10, the Wisconsin Supreme Court will decide if counties must release voter incompetency records. Back in 2022, the Wisconsin Voters Alliance sued Walworth County's register, seeking records indicating a judge has found someone incompetent to vote. The group has alleged the number of ineligible voters doesn't match tallies on the state's public voter database. The Second District Court of Appeals held the records are public and the county must release them with birth dates and case numbers redacted. Today, the court issued a two-page order saying it would take the case. People across the U.S. can now buy a birth control pill online and without a prescription. And thanks to Governor Evers, Wisconsinites with Badger Care Plus will be able to get the new over-the-counter contraceptives for free. The FDA approved the over-the-counter sale of Opil last July. Yesterday, the company that makes the oral contraceptive made it available for purchase at opil.com and on Amazon. A one-month supply costs about $20, and a six-month supply sells for $90, though insurance may cover the cost. The demand for cheaper prices for inhalers here in the U.S. continue, with Senator Tammy Baldwin at the forefront. Yesterday, she held a roundtable in Milwaukee with advocates on the high cost of inhalers, looking to hold manufacturers accountable for the high prices. Yesterday, she announced AstraZeneca will join Boehringer Ingelheim in capping out-of-pocket inhaler costs at $35 starting June 1st. These are two of the four biggest inhaler makers. Price capping will make access much easier for families. can be criminal at times um, when it comes to the cost of these medications. Encounter patients at least on a weekly basis that have issues with affording their, their inhalers. Uh, a lot of times that will lead to patients rationing their supply. Baldwin's challenger, Eric Hovde, responded to the price cap, saying in part, as someone who lived with multiple sclerosis for the last 30 years, I know personally how out of control prescription drugs have gotten. The status quo is unacceptable. We need to reduce costs for patients. The Jefferson County Health Department is today warning community members to be aware of the risk associated with measles. More than 50 cases already reported in 2024, and health experts want you to be aware of the highly contagious viral infection and the threat it poses toward unvaccinated young children and infants. Now, so far this year, no cases have been reported here in Wisconsin, but here's a couple of tips. The most effective way to prevent the disease is to get vaccinated, staying informed of outbreaks in your area, practicing good hygiene, and finally, avoid contact with sick people and seek medical attention if you start to experience symptoms. A new study shows more than two-thirds of young children in Chicago may be exposed to dangerous levels of lead in water. It found roughly 75% of residential city blocks in Chicago had lead-contaminated water, and approximately 129,000 children under the age of six in Chicago live on these blocks. City blocks with predominantly black or Hispanic populations were less likely to be tested for lead and more likely to have lead-contaminated drinking water. The Environmental Protection Agency has proposed a requirement for replacing lead water pipes within 10 years. But because Chicago has more than 400,000 lead pipes, the city might need 40 years to make the change.
The Biden administration is warning state leaders about cyber attacks targeting municipal water systems. The White House and Environmental Protection Agency issued a warning today saying state governments must, and water facilities must improve their defenses against the threat. The Biden administration invited state homeland security and environmental officials to a meeting to discuss the needed improvements in cybersecurity. The U.S. water sector spans 150,000 public water systems. Local leaders have often struggled to find the cash and personnel to deal with threats from hackers. Today, in a 6-3 to three decision, the U.S. Supreme Court says it won't block a sweeping Texas immigration law known as SB4. It allows Texas law enforcement officials to arrest and detain anyone suspected of crossing the border illegally. For now, Doug Dunbar has the latest from Dallas. Texas law enforcement officials now have new broad powers to arrest and jail migrants suspected of crossing the Texas-Mexico border illegally. Their cases then decided by state judges. Tuesday's decision by a divided Supreme Court is a victory for Texas Governor Greg Abbott. So all Texas is going to be doing is basically enforcing the laws that were passed by Congress that Joe Biden is refusing to enforce. The Biden administration is suing to strike down the law and Tuesday called it, quote, another example of Republican officials politicizing the border while blocking real solutions. It's calling on Congress to pass a bipartisan border security plan currently blocked in the House. The Texas law known as SB4 still faces a challenge in a lower federal court. Supreme Court conservative justices Brett Kavanaugh and Amy Coney Barrett urged the appeals court to rule quickly. In the meantime, multiple law enforcement officials tell CBS News the state has not yet provided guidance on how to enforce the law. It's not like, oh, he looks illegal and we're going to put him in jail. We can't do that. You know, we can't uh, stereotype someone, you know, someone from Mexico and, and do that. Critics expect SB4 will lead to racial profiling across Texas. What's to stop a constable or, or, or a sheriff from setting up roadblocks and asking everybody for their papers and their passports? Mm. Mexico, for its part, said it won't accept migrants that Texas officials try to deport. Doug Dunbar, CBS News, Dallas. The Fifth Circuit Federal Court in New Orleans says it plans to meet Wednesday to consider SB4. Meanwhile, some encouraging signs at the U.S.-Mexico border. The Department of Homeland Security says migrant border crossings are dropping. On Monday, U.S. Border Patrol agents detained about 4,300 migrants at the southern border. That's down from the more than 9,000 daily encounters agents faced last December when there was an unprecedented surge of migrants. Overall, migrant arrests dropped 50% in January compared to December. Still ahead at 10, Buddy is back with more on those alert days and just how much snow we could see. Plus a popular Madison summertime staple with a big announcement today. More on the Madison night market next. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Winner of the best evening newscast by the Wisconsin Broadcasters Association. This is Ford Truck Month. With amazing offers across an amazing lineup of Ford trucks, make way for the event that only comes around once a year, featuring the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Super Duty, the North American Truck of the Year. Get ready and get to Ford Truck Month. Choose Flex Buy on F-150 with 1.9% APR financing for 66 months, plus 2,000 Flex Buy and 1,000 Open Trade Assist cash at your Wisconsin Ford dealer. Frizz, dryness, breakage. New Dove 10 in 1 Serum Hair Mask with Peptide Complex fortifies hair bonds at a molecular level. Helps reverse 10 signs of damage in one minute. Keep living, we'll keep repairing. When you put in the effort, but it starts to frizz, you skipped a step. Tresemme Silk Serum. Use before styling for three days of weightlessly smooth hair that frizz can't beat. New Tresemme Keratin Smooth Collection. Pella's free in-home consultations make replacing or redesigning your windows and doors easy. We go beyond just measuring and handing you a quote. We take the time to listen and educate you on all your product options so you can be confident in choosing the look and functionality that's right for you. And with DesignWorks, you can see what your home will look like before you buy. 
Right now, get 0% interest for up to 36 months when you order by March 31st. Set your free consultation at PellaWI.com. Only your locally owned Cub Cadet dealer has genuine parts, accessories, trained service technicians, and the widest selection of innovative Cub Cadet products. We're here for you whenever you need us. With expert service and support to keep your equipment running at peak performance for years to come. Take advantage of exceptional financing at your local Cub Cadet dealer today. To find the dealer near you, visit CubCadetDealers.com. Are record high energy costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes? While you haven't asked for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to face the challenge of living without heat or power or face homelessness. For a hand up, apply today. From Girls 5 Ever, we've got Sarah Bareilles, Busy Phillips, Paula Pell, and Renee Elise Goldsberry. I love y'all so much. Plus, Arthur the Kings, Natalie Emanuel, on the Jennifer Hudson Show. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. You're watching News 3 Now at 10, moving forward. A shuttered coal power plant in western Wisconsin is no more after crews tore it down today. Staff from Dairyland Power Cooperative say the Genoa Station No. 3 coal-fired power plant was retired in 2021 after more than 50 years in service. The closing of the plant is part of Dairyland Power's sustainable generation plan. This is the sixth closure, just to show our commitment to carbon reduction. And when we look to the future, those two remaining coal plants are important in our transition because when the wind's not blowing and the sun's not shining, the plants that keep the lights on affordably and reliably are coal plants, gas plants, and nuclear power plants. Dairyland Power says it still has two power plants remaining that are run on coal. Well, new tonight at 10, Just a Game says a new facility is nearing completion in Reedsburg and plans to open this summer. The new 52,000 square foot field house will include five basketball courts, nine volleyball courts, 16 pickleball courts, and a walking track. The $6.5 million project is funded by grants and a $3.5 million anonymous donation. The facility was designed as a multi-purpose space and will help with local community programming, as well as allow clubs and organizations to rent it for tournaments and events. Also new tonight, good news for those of you who enjoy the Madison Night Market. This summer, it will be expanding onto the Capitol Square. For the first time, it will now be branching to North Carroll and West Mifflin Streets, in addition to State and Gilman. The goal for the expansion is to welcome more local artists and food vendors as the demand for spaces continues to increase. The event includes live music, food carts, and pop-up restaurant experiences. The full list of vendors, musicians, and food trucks will be announced in April. The market will hold five dates on Capitol Square, May 9th, June 13th, August 8th, September 12th, and October 17th. Each night it will run from 5 to 9 p.m. Summer isn't quite here, that's where my mind is at least. Another <laughs> blast of winter first, meteorologist Buddy Reeves is back with a look at our first worn forecast. Yeah, unfortunately winter's gonna make a good, uh, big return here as we move on into the later part of this week. Let's take a look at the weather headlines, three things you need to know. It's gonna be cold the rest of this week after today being in the middle 50s. Then after that, we do have that snow on Thursday night and Friday. And then yet another system that's going to bring us rain and snow on Sunday and Monday. We do have the first of two alert days in the forecast. This is for all of southern Wisconsin. This is for uh, all snow events. So we might see upwards of an inch south of Dane County. The further you get uh, closer, I'm sorry, the closer you get to the Illinois border, the less you're going to see. One to four inches here across the Madison area. Then if you go north of Dane County, we're gonna see about four to six inches of snow. And this is for Thursday night into Friday. So let's break it down. Hour by hour, five o'clock on your Thursday evening, looking pretty good. As we head on into your Friday morning, you notice the snow overspreads all of southern Wisconsin. Madison is included in this. So this is that heavy, wet type of snow. So it's going to be have hard to shovel. It's also gonna be very slushy in the drive. So we might have a very slippery commute 
on your Friday morning and then by your Friday afternoon at lunchtime that snow is going to continue but then by five o'clock on your way home on Friday that snow is out of here and then we have one quiet day before the next system arrives. Snowfall potential again I was talking about just a little bit uh, ago. Madison is going to be the line where we're going to see roughly two to three inches here. The further south you go, you're going to see less one to three. And then the higher you go towards uh, the Wisconsin Dells, you could see upwards of three to six inches. And we'll continue to monitor these snow totals tomorrow in the morning with Kelly Slifka. We have our second alert day in the forecast. This is for all of southern Wisconsin. This is for heavy precipitation on your Sunday and Monday. This will start out as a snow event starting out at 7 o'clock on your Sunday morning. As the system gets going, 6 p.m. on Sunday, it is snowing here across all of southern Wisconsin. Then it transitions over to more of a rain event. So this will start out as a snow event, transition over to a rain, and again, it's going to be that heavy, wet snow in the beginning. It is going to rain pretty much throughout the day, maybe have some breaks in the afternoon, but that then behind the system, we might have some snow on the back side of this and then it's out of here on Tuesday morning. So the bottom line to all of this accumulating snow by your Friday, your Friday AM commute is going to be impacted and then more rain and snow on your Monday. Taking a look at the seven day forecast. We have that alert date on Friday, but for tomorrow it should be 35 degrees and sunny and then that alert date on your Sunday and your Monday. And then after that, we start to calm down and then temperatures look like they're going to rebound to more spring like weather. Isn't that fun first day of spring we're talking about winter weather? <laughs> of course, it's Wisconsin. Yeah, Mother Nature has a sense of humor. Exactly. All right, thanks, buddy. And coming up next in Brady Reads the Sports, the Badgers are back dancing. More on their matchup with a dangerous James Madison team on Friday. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. A rookie stunt driver. Again. Will prove he's got what it takes in this year's most exciting Nissan sales event. Hurry into the Nissan Thrill of the Drive sales event. Get 1.9% financing for 60 months on the 2023 Nissan Rogue. When you donate furniture, cabinets, and appliances to Habitat Restore, you make an impact on neighbors in your community. Profits generated from Restore sales help provide safe and secure housing for hardworking families across Dane County. Donate to make a difference today. Spectrum Internet delivers with fast and reliable speeds nationwide, so there's never been a better time to switch to Spectrum. Now get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month, plus advanced Wi-Fi and a Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line free for 12 months. Visit Spectrum.com or call 844-242-1479. Spectrum Internet offers speed and reliability, while advanced Wi-Fi gives you best-in-class security and privacy for all your connected devices. And Spectrum Mobile delivers unlimited talk, text, and data with nationwide 5G included. Switch now and get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 with advanced Wi-Fi and one line of Spectrum Mobile Unlimited free for 12 months. Start saving today. Go to Spectrum.com, a Spectrum store, call 844-242-1479 or scan the call now. Salon Pass Lidocaine Flex, a super thin, flexible patch with maximum OTC strength lidocaine that contours to the body to relieve pain right where it hurts. And did we mention it really, really sticks? Salon Pass, it's good medicine. He sent me to Make every night, date night, at Johnny's Italian Steakhouse. Choose from a generous selection of signature salads and chef-created pastas, such as the seafood pasta pomodoro, or try one of their delicious signature steaks, like the Johnny's Bone-In Ribeye. Johnny says something to satisfy every appetite. Complete date night with a glass of wine or a Johnny's signature cocktail. Have date night any night. 
at Johnny's. Johnny's Italian Steakhouse, Greenway Station, Middleton, and on South Grand Avenue, Sun Prairie. I have a passion for helping people start small businesses. I've been self-employed since I was 18. That's why you see some of those entrepreneurial tendencies from the kids. The Paco Credit Union has been great with the kids as far as why financial literacy is important. When I took Tristan in to open up his business account, he was 13, but they still educated him like an adult and treated him like a member for life. It's pretty cool when your kid's gonna hear something that you've been teaching them for years, but it's not coming from your voice. It's like having someone else in your corner. A rookie stunt driver. Again. Will prove he's got what it takes in this year's most exciting Nissan sales event. Hurry into the Nissan Thrill of the Drive sales event. Get a low two ninety nine per month lease on the 2023 Nissan Rogue. Once again, here's Brady Reads the Sports. Playing four games in four days last week, the Wisconsin men's basketball team has put on some miles and their reward for getting hot at the right time, a James Madison squad who's the trendy upset pick in this year's bracket. As for the Badgers, they're not focused on 12-5 upsets. Instead, this week is about recovering their bodies from a grueling stretch in the Big Ten tournament and locking in so they can make another run in the big dance. We hope to make a long run in this tournament, so... You know, we got to do whatever we got to do to get our bodies right, our mental right, and, you know, just go out there and compete one game at a time. Excited for these guys because they've they've earned their their chance to keep playing, and they're playing really well, well right now. So, you know, you get to this point in time, you know that anything left is, anybody left is a really good team, and we obviously have learned that over the last 48 hours with James Madison. A quick programming note, on Wednesday we will be carrying the Bucks and Boston Celtics game right here on WISC-TV. The Bucks game starts at 6.30, so Survivor and The Amazing Race will be on Television Wisconsin at 3.2 over the air. Survivor begins at 7, Amazing Race starts at 8.30. Once the game is over, Amazing Race will come back on air in progress and continue on TW. You can, if you can't access TW, you can watch CBS primetime programming the next day on CBS.com. The Wisconsin women's hockey team has only faced Colgate twice. The last time was last year in the regional final in their barn, and the Badgers left with a 4-2 win and a trip to the Frozen Four. Fast forward to this year, and the two meet again on a bigger stage. Winner advances to Sunday's national championship. But to Mark Johnson's squad, whether it's the Frozen Four or the first series of the season, the mindset doesn't change. Just remember, we played confident, we played our game, and they were a tough team. They were physical, um, and they had really good players, so I think this year it's just going to be more of the same. Um, the stakes are a little higher being in the Frozen Four, but I think um, not much changes. We just go out there and do what we know how to do. Yeah, I think playing with excitement and channeling those nerves is going to be important for us. Um, it's, like she said, it's a more um, stake, like more, more is on the line being a Frozen Four game, but it doesn't change what we're doing out there. On the men's side, Kyle McClellan made program history today, becoming the first Badger to be named Big Ten Goaltender of the Year. The senior netminder has posted 24 wins between the pipes for Wisconsin this season and leads the nation in save percentage and shutouts while his goals against average is second in the country. Mike Hastings' squad will find out where they'll head to in the NCAA tournament during the selection show on Sunday. Stay with us. We'll be right back. When we tell people it took 138 iterations to refine the Tiguan chassis, they say, oh, cool. But when we tell them it also took our engineers 189 pizzas, 22 birthdays, 4,005 miles commuted through 13 thunderstorms, 16 neglected haircuts, 52 all-nighters, and 19 nightmares about chassis, they usually go, oh, wow. The meticulously refined Tiguan. Hop in. It's a VW. Get 0% APR financing or a $2,000 customer bonus on a new 2024 Tiguan during the Volkswagen 75th anniversary sales event. When your child has moderate to severe eczema, it's okay for them to show off. Show off their clearer skin and noticeably less itch with Dupixent. Because children six months and older with eczema have plenty of reasons to show off their skin. With Dupixent, the number one prescribed biologic by dermatologists and allergists, they can stay ahead of their eczema. It helps block a key source of inflammation inside the body that can cause eczema to help heal your child's skin from within. 
Serious allergic reactions can occur that can be severe. Tell your doctor about new or worsening eye problems, such as eye pain or vision changes, including blurred vision, joint aches and pain, or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines without talking to your doctor. Show off to the world. Ask your child's eczema specialist about Dupixent. They say that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Well, they are correct. Enjoy one of our tasty bagel sandwiches paired with a caramel frappe. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Get an 11% rebate on everything. Now at Menards. Prepare for spring flooding with sump and utility pumps from Barracuda. This automatic submersible utility pump is now $114.79 after rebate. Remove water quickly and keep your basement dry. This cast iron and stainless steel sump pump is durable and has high output with the ability to pump over 4,000 gallons per hour. Get it today for $159.99 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Welcome to Badgerscape Design and Landscape. We offer a full range of landscaping services from design to maintenance. Our professional team is dedicated to meeting all your landscaping needs. Call us at 608-295-1446 or visit badgerscapedesignandlandscape.com. The feet have a really big impact on how the rest of the body moves. The knees, the hips, the lower back especially. If the foot isn't properly aligned, all of these joints are going to function incorrectly. That results in a lot of muscle tension and chronic pain. What I really like about the Good Feet system is that the right arch supports can put the foot in its proper alignment so all the joints of the rest of the body will be aligned properly as well and when the body's aligned we can reduce the risk of injury and chronic pain. Hip, knee, or back pain? See if arch supports can help you at the Good Feet store. The first warm weather team takes you beyond the barometer. Only on News 3 Now. Tonight. The ball rolled behind the couch. Where is ball? What happened to ball? Colbert's got John Oliver tonight on CBS. So we get like a day of spring and Mother Nature says, hold my beer, you're getting more winter. Uh, exactly, and we're gonna be busy in the weather office the next couple of days. We have an alert day in the forecast. This is for Thursday night and Friday morning for all of Southern Wisconsin for accumulating snow. It's gonna make your AM commute slippery. One to four inches here for Madison and then we have another late weekend storm for Sunday and Monday for heavy precipitation, snow to rain, and that again is on Sunday and Monday. Taking a look at your 10-day forecast, you can see those alert days on Friday, Sunday, and Monday. Then after that, we do start to warm back up towards spring-like temperatures, so hopefully we'll be able to enjoy spring yeah. soon. Yeah, be safe out there. Remember to drive slow and be careful. All right, thanks everyone for spending this time with us. We sure do appreciate it. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. Have a good night.